But first, a South suburban woman and her dog attacked, and she says it never should have happened. CBS 2's Tara Molina is live in Madsen, and Tara, the woman tells you she complained to the village before about this dog. Erica and Brad, Sandy Innes says she reached out to the village for help several times before any of this happened. She says she never heard back. She still hasn't. We want to warn you, the video of this attack could be tough to watch. But I did. I'm 73 years old. But that didn't stop Sandy Innes from protecting her 13-year-old dog. And I just kept doing like this on the, on the dog's head. You can see that in the security camera video that captured it all. Sandy Innes saw the dog from next door attacking hers and ran outside, pooper scooper in hand, eventually fighting the dog off with the scooper. I just kept beating the dog in the head. She says it bit her too in the process. I was just afraid she'd die. The two of them sitting on the back porch today. Well, we have two Sandy, Sandy Senior and Sandy Junior. Both are on medication. Senior and Junior, both scared to leave. I'm scared to come out the house. Good girl. No one could help me. Everyone sent me to somebody else. That's why she says she reached out to us, because this wasn't the first time one of the neighbor's dogs showed up on her property at her back door. It's just the first time a dog off a leash attacked. No one has said they're sorry. And despite several calls to the village before this, she says nothing was done. No one responded, and she says no one has since. I asked village officials and police about that. The police chief told me this is the first complaint they have recorded here, and per county policy, they can't take any action against the dog or the homeowner, and they can't deem an animal vicious. Instead, relaying the info to county animal control, who follows up on animal complaints. So with no answers, still no response, Sandy says she's getting quotes on a privacy fence. The only option she feels she has left. I can't chance it with Sandy and I can't chance it with myself. I followed up with Cook County Animal Control. They say they're still waiting on an official bite report from Matson Police. Once they get that report, they'll move forward in this process by reaching the dog's owners. We tried, tried to reach the dog's owners today. They did not answer the door, and not one village official outside of police responded to our requests on this story. Reporting live in Matson, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.